What's up, peeps? Mike Vips here, and today we got a 22 millimeter RDA. Yes, I said RDA. I did not say pod mod. I said RDA. No, it's not an all-in-one. It's an RDA company. It's from Yacht Vape. Thank you, Yacht Vape. Good job. Good job producing rebuildables. Anyway, Yacht Vape Claymore RDA. So, oh, the mod. That's the SQ. That's the signature tip squonker right here. SQ nickel plated version. So let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this RDA. We'll do squonk placement, coil placement, cotton. I'll show you guys the accessories, all these different colored top caps they'll be selling as uh, a separate purchase. We'll come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Claymore RDA. And here's the packaging, the Claymore RDA by Yacht Vape comes in. Inside the packaging, you'll get a user manual, a spare drip tip, this baggie with some extra O-rings, extra post screws, squonk pin, and some tools, and another baggie with a coil and a piece of cotton. And here is the Claymore RDA. The RDA is a 22 millimeter RDA. Drip tip on top is a 510 drip tip. At the base, you're gonna have this here. They give you a beauty ring, which is pretty cool. It does say Claymore on it. And you can see underneath, it says Claymore, manufactured by Yacht Vape. You got your gold plated 510 pin, protrudes out more than enough for a hybrid mechanical mod connection. It's gonna come in, from what I've seen, three different colors. You got this stainless steel black two-tone. You also got this sandblasted one with the build deck is also gonna be sandblasted. And a full matte black, and the build deck is all matte black. Now to remove this drip tip, and it is a 510 drip tip, the best way is the airflow controller. Just grab it from there and pull. See what I'm doing? You pull the whole thing out, then you can pop the drip tip out, and you can see it's a shorty drip tip. This is your airflow control ring that slips right over this. All right, and you could adjust your airflow. And here is the build deck. So that airflow that I just showed you guys, that opening, it gets channeled into right here. You could see that opening there. Here's a top down view of it. All right, so this is gonna be where your airflow goes in, comes out through there, hits the side of your coil. And you can see it's using Phillips head screws and a clamp, and you're gonna see there is like a little bit of a ledge lip up over there where your coil lead's gonna go into, right, to help it from pot not popping out. You do have double O-rings, juice well, fairly nice juice well in here. And then from the center, that's where your squonk action is going to happen. Obviously, I'm going to have to remove that pin that's in there, the regular 510 pin, and put in the squonk pin. And if you've never installed a squonk pin, just unscrew the regular 510. Make sure to just keep your fingers over everything here so nothing pops off from your build deck. All right, you just pull that out. Then you grab your squonk pin with the hole in it. Pop that in like that. Then you grab your Allen wrench and just tighten it all down. And now you could see right down the center there, you could see the hole. All right, that's where your squonk will happen. That's where the liquid will flow out into your build deck. Now, before we put some coils in that RDA, let me show you guys what else they sent me. Accessories. All right, these are all different color top caps. All right, colorful. They're calling them the colorful kits. You'll have like a clear. So let's just look at the clear for now. Pop that open. You're going to have that little drip tip, a clear one. And this piece here, let's pop that out. Anything else in there? That's it. That's what it comes with. You have this piece. So what you do here is you're going to grab this piece, your airflow controller, because you do have the opening right there. You kind of see it. And this will just pop right over. You're going to give it a turn. It goes into place. And then you grab your clear drip tip. All right, so you could change the appearance of the RDA. And for the other colors, you're going to have red, green, ultim, Blue, black, and this black here is almost, they're calling it like a translucent black. Uh, it's it's pretty dark. All right, let's get that out. You can see it's pretty dark. It is kind of translucent. And the purple. And one more thing to point out, this side is your positive, and this is your negative, and you could see there is an insulator that's going all around there. All right, so your positive is here, and this one here is your negative. Now, for this build, I'll be using some Coilology Aliens 0.07 resistance, and that's when it's dual. I'm going to be using, obviously, one single, so I'm aiming to get a 0.14 resistance because I will be using this RDA on Mechanical Mod. So I'll grab my coiling rod, put the coil in, and now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do one of these. Grab that coil head and just slip it right in. All right, got that side in, got that side in, right there. 
Now I'll grab my screwdriver, make sure I got the correct one. There we go, and just tighten it down. Now that I've got both sides tightened, grab my coiling rod and just position my coil right where I want it. So now next step is to get in there and cut that lead. Get in as close as possible and snip. Do the same thing on the other side. Lift up a little, stick it in and snip it. And since I'll be using it on a mechanical mod, always do everything on a regulated mod, right? Make sure to test your resistance, get the hot spots out, make sure it doesn't say check atomizer and so forth. All right, and then just gonna pulse and scrape. Look at that, huh? It looks pretty good right there. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of cotton. Yes, I am using some cotton, C-O-T-N cotton. Pass that through, I cut it right about there. Flip it and cut it. Then give it a nice little comb out. Not too much, don't need much with this one here. Just a little bit. Yeah, I know, you guys like it when I do the little under under, little under under action. Yeah, we'll do it on both sides. Now I'll just grab the cotton and stick it right down inside there. Do the same thing over here. All right, looks pretty good. All I gotta do now is add a little bit of liquid and we'll do some squonking. Just gonna drop it right on top just to get it started because we're gonna do everything on the squonker. Now I'm gonna give it a little squonk action. You can see it filling up in there. And you can see it will come out of the air hole that you see there, it will come out. But remember the air hole on this cap is up high, so it's gonna all go back down. In order for you to get it to leak, you really have to go past over the coil with liquid. I right, got it all together. Press the fire button. Should be getting some vapors. Hell yeah. Oh, mod, I'll show you guys in a second. This is the SQ, the original SQ, single 18650, but this one is a very ultra limited edition nickel plated version. Yeah, buddy. And there you go. That was the Claymore RDA by Yacht Vape. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. The Up Close Claymore RDA by Yacht Vape. Mike, your thoughts, pros and cons. Cons. Uh, I really don't have too much to complain about to tell you guys the truth with this. The drip tip, I think, is a it's short. Especially for a 510 drip tip. It, it makes it look sexy. I love the shorties. You guys know me. But for some reason on 510s, I don't prefer shorties on 510s. It's weird with me. And the airflow on here kind of reminds me of the Reload X. Was that the RDA? The Reload X? How it did its bottom to top airflow. And I remember with the Reload X, it was a little bit on the noisy side, the airflow, because of that channel. And this has pretty much that same style airflow going on. So it is a little bit on the noisier side. That's it. Those are the only really complaints I have. And obviously with the drip tip, just pop in your own drip tip in there. So, pros on this, I think they look sexy. Beautiful. I'm definitely going to give them a pro on sexiness. Another pro is going to have to be, you also get that spare drip tip. And I know people are probably in the comments while I was saying that, my drip tip, I meant more of, I prefer an A10 drip tip when it comes to these types of RDAs. 510 is nice. And I know there's going to be those people that say you get better flavor with 510, which is true, which is true. But if you know what you're doing, you can get great flavor with 810. Anyway, all right, back to the RDA. Everything you get, squonk pin, you, they give you a coiled cotton, lots of extras in there, the drip tip, all that. Definitely gonna have to be a pro. Beauty ring, you get a beauty ring on there, definitely a pro. Adjustable airflow with this, as it the way they did it. I like the way they did the adjustable airflow. I will give them a pro for that. I like the bell deck. Doesn't matter which way your coil is wrapped. You just, because you want to have it belly down. And you could do that with this type of build deck. All right. So it will be a pro. Squonking on here has been beautiful. Because of the way they did it, like I was telling you guys, the airflow is up here. When you're, if I give it a hard, right now I'm hard pressing it, you're not going to get liquid. It'll go inside there and then it's all going to droop right back out into the build deck. So big pro on the squonking with this. If I'm not mistaken, we've seen this with other RDAs and also, like like I said before, the Reload X. And for those who want to see it with the other drip tip, there you go. That's the way it would look with that other drip tip on there. All right, so let's vape it. I have it right now on a mech mod. All right, mech mod. 
Resistance is a point, it came out to a 0.17 resistance. Three milligram nicotine. Oh, 18650 battery. Let's hit it. All right. I don't know if you guys could hear the airflow. You could hear that noise. It's nothing bad. I'm just used to honeycomb. Everything's been honeycomb. Everything's just been beautiful with honeycomb. So going back to this type of airflow, I could hear it. You know, it stands out to me. Also, I'm, I'm a reviewer. I'm supposed to notice these things. All right. Now, like that, the way I was vaping it, I had it, sh the airflow shut off just a little bit. Now I'm going to do fully open on it. All right, right there should be fully open. Like I said, it's on the loud side. That's why I cut it down a little bit because it kind of helps for that noise that it makes, the loudness. It helps a little bit. When it's fully open, it is a loud airflow. Now I've swapped out the drip tip. You could put in here, like I said, it is 510, but if you have a 510 that has two O-rings, like for example, Half Moon Mods, 510 drip tips have the double O-ring. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get in there. Now, if you're using signature tips, they're 510 drip tips. Like this one here, this is like that drop style, they're calling it, the drop 510. Single. As you can see, it's got a single O-ring. There we go, single O-ring on it. With this in here, oh yeah. Now, this looks like an A10 drip tip on there. Feels like an A10 drip tip on there, but it's a 510 drip tip. All right, let's vape it with this. Uh, fully open. Let's do it. Wow, so much better. Let's squonk it. Wow, this drip tip makes such a difference. Such a difference. Now it feels like an A10, and it just opened everything up. It just feels better. Yeah. If you're getting this, go on Signature Tips website, signaturetips.com. That's where you'll find these drops drop eight drop five tens they're called right chameleon drop five tens awesome Ooh, we got a little cloudy down here but there you go that was the claymore rda mike how's the flavor the flavor is awesome on this thing beautiful flavor on here has more than enough airflow adjustable airflow squonking rda now dripping it using it as a dripper with the drip with the drip tips that they provide they're so small it's hard to get liquid in there but with this drip tip in here you could drip it like you would an 810 style drip tip which is pretty cool so all in all i really like the rda they look sexy and they vape great just the airflow kind of wish it was a little bit quieter than what it is but it's not bad i'm just used to like i said honeycomb honeycomb style airflow so there you go the claymore rda by yacht vape in the description below, no links to this, not allowed. YouTube policy thingies, but I will have links to advocacy and my personal links down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe.